Warning! The following video will contain language of a frank and explicit nature. Viewer discretion is advised. Viewer discretion is highly advised. I have to repeat that, because there's going to be some four-letter words up in this, son bitch. If you can't handle it, stop watching now. To everybody else, what's up, guys? I'm Dave, darker than Damien, more savage than Vandal, and this is the Arrow Roast. Want to know why I'm doing what I'm doing and what lines I will and will not cross? Check out my video, Arrow Roast the Rules. Now, it has been a hot minute since I've done anything like this, but I kind of thought it would be appropriate to do so on 420. Uh, to all my people out there that are smoking and token, you know, pass it on the left-hand side. Now, it has come to my attention that after years of bullshit, of wrongful characters dying, about characters being written wrong, and all that wonderful shit, not only is Arrow being renewed for Season 7, we're getting Roy Harper back, so Col yeah, that's going to be great. Colton Haynes is coming back uh, as a regular. It's going to be fantastic. Although the last episode he was in, when Willa Holland was in, is kind of... She's gone. She, she's not coming back. But Roy's coming back. Okay. But, despite all that bullshit, it turns out... Oh, if you guys are wondering about what's going on, I finally broke down. For $3.50, I ended up getting a fucking selfie stick. I feel like a douche. I swear to God I do. But anyway. Big news. As of Season 7... Wendy Miracle will be leaving Arrow. And Mark Guggenheim will be replaced as showrunner by Beth Schwartz. Now, he's still going to be around like a supervisor capacity. And he's going to be taken off of the showrunner of both Arrow and Legends of Tomorrow. And, you know, part of me, you guys are probably wondering... What the fuck? What's why? Why? Why aren't you not not doing a celebration? Isn't this something you've been fighting for? I'm like, yeah, but this must be what happens to prolonged exposure to fucking Guggenheim bullshit. Because I feel emotionally numb. Swear to God, if I was a furry and giant Bebo reached down to give me a handy J, I would be emotionally numb. I'm just nothing. Nothing's happening. You know. Because fucking Beth, I'm happy she's got a new job. I'm happy that he's going to get him over. It's like, after all this time, instead of being, getting like a DUI, he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah Mark, you, you, you're drunk. Give me the keys. No, no, no. They're not taking him out completely. He's just kind of like be put in the corner. So, you know, put him in the fucking corner like baby. I don't give a shit. But Beth, recently on Twitter, had made a comment to a fan that if she had her way... She would have written a certain episode as a wedding episode between Elicity and all that shit. Fuck! So you know what? I want to cheer. I want to be happy, but I'm just I'm numb. Honestly, I am. How many times has he fucked up? How many times? Like when Oliver was fighting Rachel Ghoul back in season three, falling off the fucking cliff, and he gets saved by Super Fei Fei. Or how about when Laurel got killed? All this shit. Everything has just been so fucking horrible. It's just... How many times are we going to let it get burned? I'm numb, dude. There's just fucking nothing. I'm waiting to heal. I'm waiting to come back. I'm waiting to get passionate again. But I'm not going to talk shit about the cast because that's just not fair. Like I said, we fought for this long and hard. And I want to thank each and every one of you that's made your voices heard. If we're posting stuff like Redemption for Black Siren, stuff like that, it's coming. But how many times have we seen the pattern to where we get just enough and then it yanks it the fuck away? I will believe it when I see it. I, I'm fucking, you know, like I, I, can't, I can't get my hopes up, man. So I will give this video... Well, I will not give the video. I will give... The departure of Mark Guggenheim, all the celebration deserves, with the emotion of a janitor taking out the fucking trash. Basura, por, por favor. Peace.